No, thank you very much, Comrade Sarika, um, but also to appreciate the effort that has been made to uh, put this initiative together um, uh, for this launch. Uh, we also want to appreciate the array of uh, internationalists and progressives coming together to advance the struggle on all fronts, plurality towards socialism. <clears throat> and indeed, as you just said, we also want to appreciate the concrete suggestions uh, being made on building on the key ideas of the manifesto itself. The, let, let, me, let, me, let me start by quoting Peter Buddhist, who remarked in an essay, Imagining Society Beyond Capital in the book, uh, Reading Capital Today. Uh, and he says, few problems weigh more heavily upon humanity today than developing a viable alternative to capitalism. Increasing levels of income inequality worldwide, coupled with a massive, uh, so. my apologies, coupled with the massive destruction of the environment and increasing social alienation are threatening to undermine the very basis of human and natural existence. As capitalism reverts to ever more regressive forms of intolerance, uh, and these have been mentioned, they're seen in the reactions of uh, numerous European powers to the influx of millions of refugees from Africa and the Middle East and the rising threat posed by nativist and racist currents in the, the US body politic. The need for an alternative vision can give direction to the aspirations of those dissatisfied with the existing state of affairs, especially palpable. Close quote. <clears throat> Among the many gaping crises of capitalism in the last few months has been its inability to mitigate the devastating consequences of COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic has wreaked havoc on the health systems of the entire world and exposed those societies whose health whose healthcare is based on the for-profit model as unsustainable and hopelessly inadequate to deal with those conditions and provinces of healthcare for all. It is the socialist oriented societies that have held the pandemic at bay and ensured fewer infections and mortalities. In terms of the huge damage caused to the socioeconomic infrastructures because of their organization and all round commitment to health provision for all its citizens. Indeed, one of the other things to be noted is what we call vaccine nationalism uh, of the developed world. Has also not assisted to ensure all those who need them have access uh, to them to them timelessly. The hoarding and other methods uh, all in pursuit of uh, the profit motive are insidious and not only morally wrong, but unravel the inability of the capitalist system to respond to the needs of the people. Today, uh, we have decades of mounting capitalist contradictions. Uh, capitalist ruling classes, neoliberalism uh, in the so-called developed world uh, and underdeveloped world has demonstrated without a share of a doubt the timeliness of socialism as an alternative to the rapacious system of capitalism. And as the manifesto correctly points out, uh, almost two decades of policies favoring capitalism, the neoliberal financialized Capitalism has not only lost its productive, whatever that is, dynamism and inability to respond to the basic needs of the people. It has turned to unproductive plunder and dumping, created poverty on a massive scale, increased inequality and fostering social divisions, leading to a rise in racism, the re-emergence of fascism and political repression and growing threats of war and the ecological crisis and climate warning. On the African continent, uh, we have witnessed increased uh, uh, civil wars and instability, whilst also expressing neo-colonial and forced, and forced relations of exploitation of its rich mineral resource base. The resource case has continued to wear down much of our efforts uh, of progressive national liberation movements on the continent, which won independence around the 50s and 60s. Because of a complex problem of debt and others, these societies have been unable to throw off the albatross of debt and unfavorable trade and other relations to the metropole. The capitalist world today is in a state of complex intersecting crises. 
across the continent, people are beginning to rally uh, around the goals of national liberation. And that's a progressive trajectory that places at the center of the needs of the people, uh, the addressing of the basic needs. The dominant narrative is unraveling as much of the youth and other popular strata of the world are questioning and taking seriously the alternative to capitalism and neoliberalism. And we want to agree that solidarity of those fighting for socialism is even more important today. This solidarity should focus, among other things, on anti-imperialist wars, unilateral imposition of sanctions, should also be promoting multilateralism and efforts to protect the exploitation and denigration of the ecological, ecological resources of the world. And today, as reflected in the postulations of uh, President Xi Jinping's thought on common prosperity, which are an elaboration of Deng Xiaoping's thought, and we quote, to develop productivity and increasing people's livelihood and ultimately achieving common prosperity for all. This is the fundamental requirement of socialism. And as we say in South Africa, socialism is the future, build it now. Thank you very much.